Okay, Erika Chomor from uh, Hungary. Uh, you have a duathlon uh, world uh, champion background here, Erika, but uh, a couple of weeks ago you had a great race out in Oceanside in the uh, Ford Ironman 70.3 race and uh, beat a whole host of world champions, five world champion girls. You must be feeling pretty good about your preparation for this race. Uh, yes, that was a good harvest. <laughs> um, yes, but I'm quite nervous because it's not a half distance. Actually, half distance is my favorite. I think that suits me the best because it's quite short, you can keep pushing, and but Ironman is kind of difficult, especially in hot weather and uh, like here, so you need more brain for Ironman patient and feeding yourself, drinking, and kind of, for me, it's surviving, but yes, I want to see how can I do in a full Ironman, and I hope I can come out from the water closer to the girls, like, like in the past, and that's make me keeping fire, seeing the girls and passing them and then I have a hope to having a good running and finishing a front. So that's the difference between duathlon and triathlon. It's kind of chasing race for me and I'm working on my swimming to, to coming closer for them. So it's it's easier job. Like in Oceanside, I was caught up for the girls quite early on a bike so I can keep control the race. If you are in a front, you can make the pace, you can control everything, so that's different job than chasing them hard. And so I hope Ironman is, I try to make it smarter, just keeping my space and not going crazy too early. Okay, so uh, in Oceanside, you actually caught the girls fairly early on the bike ride, you know, uh, toward the end, but, uh, you know, uh, just before the 40-mile the mark or just around 40 miles or so. So this race here, I mean, you know, a little bit different. Uh, the swim length is a little bit longer, just uh, twice the distance, another 1.2 miles. So do you think that uh, you can catch these girls on the bike? Uh, I hope so, some of them for sure, but if it's not, I still have one more <laughs> card for the running. It can be very hard here because the hot weather and I think the running is a key point here. It, because if you are, have problem or suffer, then you can lose so much time. So I definitely have to keep some energy for running. So not panicking on a bike if I, I don't arrive to the front. But my plan is arriving in the front, so <laughs> with rest before the running. <laughs> yeah, it's good. And uh, Erica has a, an absolutely devastating run leg at the end of the race. Uh, just one final question. Uh, preparation uh, for this race, you said, uh, you know, it's going to be a hot race. You've been training in hot weather, though. Yeah, three weeks ago in Philippines, we, I spent five weeks there. It was kind of similar, but more humid. So I adapted well for the for this weather condition. Here will be dry and I like dry better, but in the last two or three years I didn't train in hot weather and I don't know who can, who, if I lose my heat toleration or not. But I'm not worrying about that, that much. I know I can do it, but I have to do smart. Okay, she'll definitely be smart on the weekend. Uh, watch for her devastating run leg right at the end of this race. Uh, absolutely formidable runner, Erika Chomor from Hungary.